Now this is the Bayshore, one of the prominent projects right here in the Bayshore condo enclave. What's going to happen in the next one year is that the Thompson East Coast Line, which just about three minutes walk right there at the Bayshore MRT station, is going to happen. And over there, 80 hectares of URA transformation on the entire new township in the Bayshore precinct is going to happen in the next 10 years as well. And what is happening here right now is that this gives you a chance to own a two-bedroom for a $1.1 million benchmark, around a 1,100 plus per square foot for a huge size in terms of two-bedroom. Follow property numbers on the Bayshore Home Tour. Let's go. Loved you from the first time you call me lay. Loved you from your wits and your wicked game. Alright, so we're in this fabulous two-bedroom unit in the Bay Shore. And uh, D16, according to research by our PRB research team, D16 is definitely in the season that is prime for growth right now. And I promise you that if you stay tuned all the way towards the end of this home tour, everything that we're gonna share with you in this home tour video is gonna converge together in terms of numbers. So let me just bring out the quick facts about the Bay Shore. And in order to understand why D16 is prime for growth, we have to look at the backdrop of how the entire condo enclave in the Bayshore region was being developed in the past. So Bayshore Park was completed in the 1980s with 1,083 units. 11 years later, in the year 1997, the Bayshore was being completed and uh, this was being done by Far East sitting on this huge plot at 414,000 square feet approximately. The moment you enter into the Bayshore, you will feel that this is definitely an architecture fleet because the inspiration of the entire architecture right here was inspired through the Babylonian era. And uh, if you notice this entire backdrop, the way that the towers are being designed is quite similar to the hanging gardens. Maybe we need to bring out some photos right here just to have a few of the heritage back then. And the important thing is that when you enter into a project with a huge plot of land, definitely you're not just buying the unit itself, you're definitely buying the lifestyle that the facilities provide for you and your family. Just have a look at the amount of facilities downstairs and later on you'll feel like you're almost in a resort field kind of theme because there are four huge tennis courts, fantastic pool sites and the most impressive of all is not just the BBQ pits right on the left and right flank, open parking on level 1, basement parking, full on security, but it is the clubhouse that's fully air conditioned and even the gents and ladies are full huge, almost like a country club version kind of bathrooms right there within the clubhouse. So let's have a look at the floor plan. So firstly, we are sitting on a rectangular layout. All the rooms and the living area is fronting towards the southeast facing. This is the view that you get because just nice, you clear off the tree line, yet you get the beautiful skyline view as well as the treetop view. And most importantly is that you're going to get this clearance. So any stacks that's further on the right hand side, definitely you will get to see a little bit more towards the next project at Costa. But this is, I think, one of the very prominent stack right here that gives you this beautiful clearance towards the sky. Now, layout wise, for Fantastic. You get a clear segregation of living and dining, but yet at the same time, you're in this huge rectangular hall. I'm gonna bring you to the kitchen first. The moment you enter, you realize that it's not easy to get this kind of kitchen sizes nowadays. Most of the kitchens right now for the two bedroom in the new launches, they are definitely an open kitchen kind of concept. This is like a full on, full suite of uh, kitchen space that you have. Top and bottom cabinets. You still have a full size yard right at the back. You also have a separate helper's room and you can double as a utility room if you do not have a living helper. You have a yard WC as well. Just for me the game and I'ma get it on. Don't do it for fame, do it for the ones. Ace with cigar, my damage, my lungs. So dining space, sizable. This is a six-seater. So and a bonus area is that you have this concave zoning right here for you to flush an entire row of bookshelves towards the dining zone. I Coming towards the TV console area, you have this entire wall line for you to design your TV console come bookcase and in terms of the distance from the TV console to the wall line for sofa, it is also very sizable. Oh, oh. Oh, 
And uh, I need to show this view that this two bedroom gives you. So this is towards the southeast facing. The moment you come into the bay shore, there are seven towers. And the way that the towers are being designed are meant to have cross vent almost throughout all the units that you can get. See, I'm going to show you the proximity to the bay shore MRT station, which is slated to open in the year 2023 towards 2024. What is going to happen is that this is going to connect through to Marine Terrace, Marine Parade, and then towards Marina Bay, upwards towards Orchard. And of course, if you have seen the news, what's going to happen through Marine Terrace to Marine Parade is that there's going to be an underground mall right there with a total net letable space of about 80 to 90,000 square feet. And that's going to be the add-on retail shopping area, F&B area, connecting you towards the Marine Parade Central. So a lot of things are happening within the Bayshore area. Let's just have a look at the pricing behaviour when Seaside Residences popped up in the year 2017. So when Seaside Residences was being launched and right now it has reached its TOP status starting from 2021 towards 2022, the latest price PSF that it has achieved is it already in the range of $2,003 to $2,600 per square foot. So how has this price behaviour caused a relationship towards Mandarin Gardens which is right now having a balance lease of 59 years? And you might be wondering if we were to look at the Balas curve any project that has dipped below the 60 years benchmark because of the CPF withdrawal limit, does that cause an impact to its price PSF? Just have a look at this price graph from HProp, you'll be able to see that in terms of price trend and transaction figures, there is an upward movement in Mandarin Gardens just because of the fact that the plot which is just beside them and Seaside Residences is doing so well, it has then created a disparity between that two projects. Right now, Seaside Residences, to get a two beta, you have to come with at least $1.7 million thereabout. If you want to get something in Mandarin Gardens, definitely they're trading at about 1,002 PSF compared to Seaside, which is a beautiful project at about 23 to 26 PSF. Now let's track back to the Bayshore region and what might happen right here is that you need to look at this entire huge plot of land right here. And that is close to 60 hectares of land right there, which is comprising of close to about 80 football fields. What is going to happen right there is that the URA plan has already been earmarked and those are all huge residential land with at least a plot ratio of 3.5 to 3.6 and what does it mean is that these are all going to be high-rise private and public housing apartments and this will definitely be one of the spurts of growth right here that will happen in the next 10 years. So just imagine if any private residential land were to be launched in the entire Bayshore region and maybe we need to take out this article because the latest article shows that there's going to be this one kilometers of lifestyle main street right there within the Bayshore new pristine and it's going to be a beautiful street right there with a host of F&B retail outlets that all the new Bayshore residents that exist existing Bayshore residents can enjoy and I think it's going to be a new beautiful town right there just right beside the MRT station and that's just right across the street here And as we head into the bedrooms, you also notice that both bedrooms are regular in shape. Now, common bedrooms, full height panel windows right here, southeastern facing. The west facing will be towards the main door, which does not penetrate into any part of the home. So this is a beautiful kind of layout because you get a little bit of morning sun coming in as well. Most importantly is that uh, you have a very squarish layout right here. Parquet flooring in the bedrooms and in terms of wardrobe, plus the kitchen cabinets, these are all renovated in the year 2015 when our owners moved in here. They renovated it before shifting in and uh, after putting in a single bed you have so much more space you can switch to a double decker for your kids you can switch to a queen if you want to lump in a king you can also do that as well master is definitely beautiful king bed existingly two side tables huge chest of drawers right there now that is a nice pocket space for you to put in another two door wardrobe because you have this kind of concave feature right here and then you already have an existing wardrobe right there right in front of your bed and uh, level and this level is also one of the rare levels because in terms of the Babylonian design for all the seven towers there are different levels and uh, most of the levels do not come with a built-in balcony only certain levels do you get that bonus balcony that you're looking for so you can head up slide open the sliding panel this can also be like a beautiful planter area for you to do some gardening and of course you can take a breather right here enjoy the view because of the fact that we're sitting on the land plot of 440 15,000 square feet. This project gives you a luxury to have open air parking area so your business can park easily on level 1. You can also park on level 1. Most importantly, with the whole of condo facilities right downstairs, your maintenance fee for 969 square feet 2-bed 3-bath apartment is only at about 
seventy dollars per month, and of course that is a fantastic additional feature for you to have. If you come to the Bay Shore, you also notice that you get to enjoy air conditioned lift lobbies. The lift lobbies are also done very well, like hotel style, and uh, there's lots of lawn area for you to bring your dogs downstairs for a walk, bring your kids to play at the playgrounds. Definitely no lack of open areas. In fact, right downstairs is almost like an entire garden by itself. And uh, I need to show you the ensuite. Now, ensuite, you come with a long bath, separate standing shower, and of course, space is ample. And right here, these are all done with very durable fittings and fixtures. Of course, we're going to throw in some examples of what you can do if you were to buy this place and you want to re-renovate the entire place. We're going to give you two different options. One is to do a full gut renovation. And these are the images that you can try to visualize a little bit about what can happen if you throw in perhaps at about $80,000 for an entire gut renovation. Now, in terms of price dynamics, let's take it for example. If you were to buy this property at $1.1 million, pump in another $80,000. If I were to add that, back to 1.1 that will still be at about 1.18 million in terms of per square foot it will still be at about 1100 plus per square foot which is definitely still very reasonable in terms of entry price and quantum price if you were to come to the common bathroom this is right opposite the two bedrooms also very convenient And this is, of course, the modern layout with the walkway feature right here, which in nowadays is also very hard to get because of the sheer size of how the new apartments are being constructed. Now, second option, if you were to put in, let's say, 40,000 in terms of renovation and without having to do a gut renovation, the 40,000 can be invested to re-renovate the two bathrooms. You can top out a lot more carpentry right here as well. And these are some of the examples that you can see. Now, last but not least, we definitely have to chat about the quantum effect. Now, let's have a look at these three projects right here for example and reference before you make a decision. So have a look at Bayshore Park in terms of two bedders right there because they are of a slightly larger size. The owners right there are already asking for a quantum price of about 1.2 to 1.3 mil. In terms of three bedders, there's not much units there for sale at the moment. If you head on to Costa del Soy, two bedders, there's only one for sale right now at about 1.4 plus million and that's about $1,500 per square foot. You want to get a three bedder right there. They're already aging in towards the $1,617 per square foot. For the Bayshore, what is happening here is that for two bidder, you're all threading at about 1.0 odd million dollars to about 1.3 million dollars depending on which level, which facing are you getting. And in terms of these three bidders right here, they're all threading in the range of about 1.6 odd million dollars. So if you want to have a look at this place, give a call to our listing managers, their numbers are all right here. And this video is also available on various platforms on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, as well as TikTok. Thank you for following Property Lim Brothers throughout our home tour series. My name is Melvin Lim. As always, happy to show the place. Take care. And the important thing here is that when you buy... Okay. Ah, okay, so it's... Uh, okay, we'll move on. Let's see. No, last but not... Uh, sorry, I think it's okay. <laughs> Most important... Mission. Two years have been done.